Hey guys, welcome back to the Minecraft video, and for this video, I want to be showing you guys a ships mod which allows us to sell any sort of ship that we like up to 10,000 blocks. And just to kind of so you can understand that sort of like structure, that ship behind us is only 8,000 blocks. So we can basically drive anything or sell anything um, about 20% bigger than that thing behind us. So that's pretty cool. So let's get started. So I have set up a chest with everything we really need to know about this mod and we have quite a few mechanisms with the ways of sailing them with our sails and how to copy ships which I'll show you all in a second and then later on we will be sailing that ship over there which I actually made myself so let's get started. So the first thing you have to know is these mechanisms. We have a tiny, we have a small, we have a medium, we have a large, we have a huge, we have a gigantic and we have an epic one. And then to be able to sail the tiny one, you use a paddle. And for the rest of them, you use a helm, which is the rest here. And it's pretty simple. So the tiny one to be able to make it is iron ingots all the way around the crafting table with a redstone in the middle. And that will make you a tiny ship. Now that will only allow you to sail a ship of up to 20 blocks. And you do require a paddle. Because it's small, you do require a paddle um, to be able to sail the ship. To be able to make the paddle, it's just um, five sticks in this formation and you're sorted. So that's pretty cool also. For the next one, which you actually can use for up to 200 blocks is the small ship. It's four iron ingots with four gold ingots inside a redstone. So that's pretty cool also. Um, and that will give you a small ship. And from this point on, you use a helm to sail the ship. A helm can be made from getting four sticks and two iron ingots. And that's a pretty simple recipe. Then for the medium one, which is up to 400 blocks, is just gold ingots all the way around the crafting table and we have some redstone in the middle. Then we have a large one, which is up to 1,000 blocks, and that's four uh, gold ingots with four lapis lazuli in, you know, going around, uh, a redstone in the middle, and we're sorted. And then we've done the large, now the huge, which is up to 2,000 blocks, and that's lapis lazuli um, around some redstone. So it's an easy recipe, um, but still pretty effective. Then for the giant one, what we're going to be doing is getting a more expensive recipe and not the most expensive um, is four diamonds around a redstone with also four lapis lazuli around that same redstone. So it's a pretty simple recipe, but you can use this up to 4,000 blocks. So that's amazing. Then we have the epic ship, which is just diamonds all the way around a redstone. And this will allow you to sell a ship of up to 10,000 blocks. Now I did ask the guy that, or the lady who actually made this mod, and she said that you can actually use it for up to like a million blocks. But this mod was only focused on smaller ships. Um, if you do want to use it on bigger ships, the lag is just intense. So you need a hefty computer to be able to do anything from like above 10,000 blocks. And you also have to have the combination perfectly right. If not, your ship will sink. And you can't sell your ship if it sinks. So that's the only issue with that. What I am going to do, get back into our chest, take an epic ship out with a helm and some wool. Let's get the yellow wool out. The wool is basically used as a cell. So any sort of wool that you like is the cell, which is just in any formation. It doesn't even have to be like that. Um, it doesn't even have to catch the winds. Like look what I've done over there is just a complete mess. But I was like, okay, I've got to make my video now. So like, I'm just going to scatter wool all the way around and then I'll do it perfectly later on. So just a final two items we have here, the ship clipboard, which is once the ship is docked, you can copy the ship into the clipboard. And with the ship projector, now if you imagine a projector, like a film projector, it portrays the sort of size and the sort of like where it's gonna be on your sort of a game. And then when you're happy with where it's gonna be, you right click, and that will copy it. So it's basically copy and paste. So that's pretty simple also. And um, to be able to make this is just paper around a tiny ship with sticks and that'll make you that. And then the ship's projector is two iron ingots with a lapis lazuli in the middle, a glass block on the top with a boat at the bottom and you're sorted. So now comes the time to be able to sell that ship we have here. Now, one of the reasons why I didn't want to sell these ships is because your whole ship has to be blocked together. So if you have like a block there and then a block over here, it won't recognize it as part of the ship. So what I did was over there, there was a ship that I was trying to get. And there's so many pieces that get left behind. 
All these buttons get left behind, which is quite annoying, and your ship does get stuck in it. And then we have like items that just, you know, just aren't part of the ship. Even though these are, you know, these glass planes are connected, but because there's no block like here or on top or at the bottom or here or either side, this is connected and this little edge right there, it doesn't recognize it as part of the ship. So if I took this ship away, so much of the glass would be left behind or the buttons would be left behind. We have some wall up there that would be left behind. And because they're blocks, your ship will get stuck. So you've got to be careful where you place your ship or where you build it. Um, but I built it just way over there and you know, with nothing around. And it's built with wood and wood at the bottom also because it has to float. You can actually build ships with wool, but it's a little bit more harder to control and there's high chances of it sinking. And then I've got wool at the back, with, you know, which will still class as my cell. And then right on the top here, we have our epic ship. And then, I don't know what that was. And then our helm. And before I forget, I'm glad I saw it, we have the berth. To be able to make your berth, all you have to do is um, get a few wool, and I'll show you just now. It's wool with a golden good at the bottom with two sticks. Um, it doesn't really matter what wool you get, you, know, you kind of get the idea now. And all this will do is, it's slightly similar to the normal beds, but this will stick with your ship. So just say you sail way over there, you sleep in the bed because it's nighttime, you will spawn in your ship, no matter where it was, no matter how far it is from where you last you know, spawned, wherever your ship is, this bed is where you will spawn. So that's pretty cool also. And all you have to do with your wall is wherever you see like an opening where air kind of like goes past, this will help. So I will show you real quick because it's kind of like time to move on. Um, if you right click this, you can kind of see that it says 3.9 meters per second, 10.1 degrees per second, which is the turning speed. That's our top speed. The thrust is 1,884 knots and the ship's mass is 610 tons. Now the great thing is that because it's made out of wood, it won't sink. So will it float? Yes. Ship is unsinkable because it's made out of wood. If it was made out of stone, that would be a different story. So what we might do is, you know, you just place your mechanism there with your helm, but I'm gonna go over here and I think there's gonna be a high chance that this one just won't float whatsoever. So we just place it in the middle with our helm. Um, so far, nothing. It says found 55 cells, which is just probably single blocks. Will it float? No. As you see, this is completely underwater. So this is just gonna sink directly, we launch it, which is why it won't let us launch. So that's a cool thing about this one. Um, it will tell you, what, if, you know, if it will float or not. So that's amazing. So now let's get into our ship. And real quick, I'll show you once again, 3.9, 10.1. So let's place, um, let's quite a few blocks real quick. Then if we go back down, it was 3.9 and 10.1. Now it's 3.9 still, but 10.4. So it will turn faster with these cells. So once you're ready, you click on your mechanism, launch ship, and it's launched. You might have sort of seen, you know, seen it move. W to go forwards, S to reverse, which is just you know the simple mechanism. It will obviously reverse a lot slower, but that doesn't really matter. And then A and D to turn either left or right. One of the things I love about this mod is just say return drastically. You will notice that behind, it actually leaves like a water sort of trail behind us, which is pretty cool also. I have to slow down. If not, we're going to crash with that ship and I don't want to crash. And you can sail anywhere you want as long as obviously it's on water. So that's one of the coolest things about this mod. And if you crash, you won't go through, you'll just stop. So if I hit one of these boats right now, I will just stop and it will hit it. Um, but one thing I want to show you before I hit a ship, just to kind of show you that, you know, it does work to be able to dock it, which all you have to do is right click again and dock your ship. Um, you have to be facing west. So northwest right now, you can kind of see on the compass. Um, and directly inside those two red lines, we will be able to dock. So if I get that ready, there we go. And now we can dock and it will place a ship wherever you docked it. So that's a cool feature and definitely one of my favorite features of this mod. So that kind of does wrap up this mod, to be honest. And um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon with another video. Peace out.